All right, so someone already messaged me and was like, Marcus, you know, you just taking advantage. You, you giving people unrealistic, you know, goals when it comes to uh, holiday transportation uh, and services. Like, you, you just you just outrageous. Triple, triple the rate. Like, what are you talking about? Triple the rate. That's just too high. Okay, it's a holiday. You should be taking a holiday off, first of all. So, it, no, it's not. Second of all, if you're you're paying someone to work, you should pay them for that day, not for a trip. And your rate should reflect paying someone for an entire day. So let's just say, for instance, on some you know random idea that you're a decent owner, you're a decent owner operator, you have a couple of drivers available providing services for you, and you're paying them, oh, say, twenty dollars an hour. Which I know for a lot of y'all is like, nah, I ain't paying them twenty dollars an hour. I'm paying them closer to like. 15. Well, first of all, step the game up, first of all. Always overpay employees. Now, why did I say always overpay employees? Because you could always hold it over their head that you overpaying them. I paid you more than the market could bear, and you still didn't want to do your job right. So, no, you can't come back. Man, that was the best job I ever had. I should have, yeah, you should have. Oh, well, somebody else will. You know, paying $20 an hour at a minimum, man. But let's say you're paying somebody $20 an hour on Thanksgiving to work. Okay, first of all, they probably gonna want time and a half. Second, you should go ahead and pay them for the whole day. Straight up, hey, look, I'm gonna pay you $175. So your rate needs to reflect that. If someone wants transportation on a, a holiday like Thanksgiving or Christmas or any of these other random federally uh, backed holidays. You should be charging them. Okay, they're they're asking you to keep your business open. You're in business to make money, so you should not only charge them for the trip, for your employees you should be covered for that entire day, and you should still make a profit. You're not here to give back to the community. If you're running a business, your business job is to make money, and you take the money that you make from that business and then give that back to the community. Okay, a lot of y'all got that twisted, but that's why I said your, your rate got to be triple the price. or don't go outside. The business has to make money because you're still out of liability, be on the road. An employee needs to be fairly compensated to do a good job because you don't want him run or her running around trying to drop somebody off real quick and come back and get them. You want them to say, hey, it's worth being a responsible employee today. So let me get these people taken care of. And then lastly, you need to make a couple dollars. You're in business to make money. So that's why I said triple the rate and not coming off of that. Um, and that's what it need to be. And it also discourages people that don't really want the service bothering you. Medical transportation is a funny industry. Like you want people with intent only. You want people that's willing to pay your rate. And if they don't want to pay your rate, don't deal with them.